A MailChimp landing page is a web page designed to increase subscribers to your MailChimp email list. Unlike other pages on your WordPress website, your landing page has only a single goal, to convert visitors into email subscribers and grow your list. In this video, I will show you how to create a MailChimp landing page in WordPress with no coding or design skills needed. We'll be using Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. Seedprod has a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and to learn how Seedprod can help create a amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing we're going to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and we're going to install a plugin called Seedprod. So you can click the link in the description and come over and we're going to use Seedprod with the pro license. So go ahead and get a copy of Seedprod. And once you've created an account, let's go ahead and log in. On the left hand side, enter your email address and your password that you created and click the login button. Inside the Seedprod dashboard, we're going to click on downloads and you're going to click the big orange button here to download Seedprod Pro. We also want the license key here in the bottom left. So you can click the icon to copy that and we can close this tab. Next, let's go to plugins and add new and go to upload plugin. We can drag and drop this here, or you can search for it on your file system. Let's click install now and click activate plugin. Next, we can paste that license key right here and click verify key. And if everything goes fine, we can see a green success message here. We have a little tab on the bottom in our browser. We can close this if you're using the same browser as I am. And here there's a video you can watch, or you can click here to create your first page. Or on the left-hand side, we can see pages here and click on this. Up top, we'll see different modes. Today, we're looking at the landing pages. We'll be creating the MailChimp landing page. So let's go ahead and create new landing page. And Seedprod is going to ask you to choose a new page template. So these are all of the templates. We have them all unlocked because we are using the pro license. And there's quite a few here to choose from. We can actually filter these by type. So web our lead squeeze thank you etc so i'm going to click on lead squeeze if you already know the name of the template you can search for it here you can hit the check mark to import this template or you can preview it if you're not sure what it looks like you can also see the mobile version by clicking the button here you can choose this template or close this to come back to the page i'm going to go ahead and select this and it's going to ask you for a page name so i'll just call this mailchimp but you can call this whatever makes sense for you and then i'm going to save and start editing the page here we can see the seed prod visual page builder. So on the left hand side, we have our blocks and these are just elements that we can put onto our page. We have standard and advanced blocks. And all we do is we can take these and drag them onto the page. And now I have, for example, a headline here. I can delete this and you can see all the different types here. We have video. So if we want a video, we can click here and have a video. We have buttons, we have opt-in forms, social media profiles, star ratings, and lots of different things here. Let's take a quick look at the template that we imported. So there's quite a bit going here. I wanna keep this as simple as possible. So I just wanna keep this upper portion of the actual design. I'm going to delete this whole section. You can see it's a section because it's purple. And these are color highlighted, so the blocks are orange. The rows here are blue, as well as the columns. So I'm going to just delete these whole sections here and blocks and there we go we're just left with this nice clean little page and there's a little bit of footer text here if you wanted to put a copyright or some type of message you could delete that as well if you wish the whole point is to keep this quite simple and easy to understand and have people just focus on the one thing that you want them to do in our case we're trying to get people to sign up to our newsletter so we can get them to join in through mailchimp so we're going to do two things here the first we're going to modify the content and then the second we're going to change the actual design of it by changing the colors and maybe the fonts so let's start with the picture here so we can update this and we'll see when we click on a block for example this is a headline this is a block you can see that the content changes on the left hand side here to get back to the blocks we can click this little blocks icon and that'll bring us back here so let's click on the image and if you hover over it, you can just delete this and you can use your own image so if you click here it's just the media library and you can upload your own photo or you can use seed prods built-in stock images so you can search for an image so if i just search for person we can see all types of different options here now probably in this case you would use a picture of yourself um, i'm going to pick this one here and immediately this picture is a little bit too big so we could adjust things here to make it smaller so we have image size options here but let's say you made a mistake and you want to go back well seedprod has an undo and redo button here so if i click undo we can now go back a step i can click this image block again Let's just delete this and go to use a stock image. Now this will pop up. I can do another search if I like or choose one of these photos. So I'm gonna click maybe this one here. I'm gonna pretend that I have a newsletter, something to do with photography. Next, we wanna update the content of our headline here. So you wanna make a nice catchy headline. So my headline, I just changed it quick to how to work as a traveling photographer. And down here, we can change the alignment. I'm gonna keep it to the left and the font size so I can make that smaller or bigger, whatever looks good. That's a little bit too big, I think. Right around there, that seems nice and even too with the image. 
The second block is a text block. So if we click here, we can change the name and we have what it says here. So this one will just change to John Doe or whatever your name is. You don't need this here. You can change that and get rid of it completely if you want. And then I'll just go ahead and update the text. So there we go. There's the text we have. And the same thing, we have a font size. We can change the size of that. So it's on two lines instead of three. And then we have our email opt-in form and then our footer. So that's all the content really. We do have a little bit of text here. So if you wanted to change this to a copyright or some type of message or link somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and add another row here. I'm just going to add a little bit more content and I want two columns and I want some testimonials. So I'm going to drag one here and I'm going to drag one here. So you would just click again on the block settings here and you would update the name. You could add your testimonial that you want. And these actually have carousel settings. So each one of these can actually show multiple testimonials. I just wanted to have two different sections with them just so it looked like we had more for people to see. So if you click on the name here, this will expand and you can see there, this is the quote that the person actually said. And you can upload an image, which will show right here, or you can pick a stock photo and then their title, you can change that as well. And then I would do the same for this one. And now of course you could add more here. So we do have, for example, you could combine the testimonials with a star rating. So you could click here and it looks fine there, but you could align it left maybe under the name or keep it centered. You could change the size a little bit, whatever you wanted to do here. And lastly, maybe you could add your social profiles. I'm just showing you a quick example. We'll just put something in the footer here and you can click these and put in all of your different social media accounts and the types that you want. All right, now that we have our content in the page, we wanna change up the design a little bit. And there's two ways to do this. We could just click on a block and then we have advanced settings here with different colors. So the topography, we could change the font and we have the color. So we could change the, the color of it here. And these are colors and fonts on the local level, but we also have global settings down in the bottom left here. So we have fonts, colors, background, and some custom CSS if you wanna put your own code in here. So to start with the fonts, we can change the header fonts and the body. So if I pick a random header, you can see how that header will update and a random body, pick one, and you can see how that changes. Now, if you're not great at picking and combining fonts, we have font themes where these are combinations that are already preset and you can just find that one that looks good and click on it. And this will update the page with all the different fonts. And then you could come in and tweak them if you wish. You could click the block settings, go to advanced, and then change the different settings here. Maybe you want that a little bit more bold or the font a little bit bigger. If we come back to global settings, we also have colors. So if I click here, there is a little bit of green in the page. So maybe I try to pick that out a little bit just so it kind of matches the photo and pulls your eye over a bit more. We have some text here. So we could maybe go with a darker gray and then our button colors we could change as well here. So maybe go for a green or something that matches that. Here we have our links, but we actually don't have any links on the page, so you can't really see that. And then our background color, which we just have set as white. You'll see that this whole section has a background as well. This is just local on the section settings, and then you'll see background color. So you can click this and change this if you wanted it to be a little bit different. So here's some colors that we used, and then maybe we could go like a lighter green, just so it kind of matches everything there. Now again, if you're not great, at picking colors, you can come back and we have color palettes here, just like the fonts, we have combinations and we could click, for example, we were going with green, so maybe we could click this one. You can see how that updated the page. So that looks good. Now you can come in and fine tune that. So the background color is a little bit of a green. I'm gonna take that and just put it back to white. And there we go, I think that looks great. We also have a background section for the global settings and this is more advanced. So you could add, for example, a video background or a background slideshow. And that's for your whole page here. You could put a background image, background color or a gradient. I'm just gonna leave it how it is and we're gonna pull in that color just from our color settings here. And one more thing, you'll see templates under here on some blocks, not all of them, but some of them. And the forum, for example, has a template section. These are pre-made designs. So you could just easily click on one and you can see that that updates. So there's different versions of the opt-in form. So I'm gonna keep, I think, one of these. That one looks nice. I think the gray one just, it's more natural looking on this page. Now that this is all set, we can go ahead and connect our opt-in form to our favorite third-party email marketing service. In this example, we're using MailChimp. So at this point, you should already have a MailChimp account. It's quite easy to set up. And we can just click here to connect. And we're going to connect a new account and you're, you need to connect with your API key. MailChimp has a documentation page here about API keys. It explains what API keys are, and it says how to find or generate your API key. It's quite easy, 
and they have a little animated video here that shows you exactly how to get that. I'm going to leave a link in the description to this documentation just in case you need it. After you have your API key, you're just going to paste that right in here and you can give it an optional connection name and then click connect. This will allow you to select the list that you want to add emails into and then you can start sending those people your daily, weekly, or monthly newsletter. Now that your page is designed and you have it connected to MailChimp, we can come to page settings and here you can change your page title, your page URL. You can change the page status to draft or publish. I like to publish my page up here instead. And we have a seed prod link that we can show at the footer of the page that says powered by seed prod. And if you like, you can join our affiliate program and get a 20% commission. Just put your link in here and you'll get a cut of any of the sales you produce. There's also an isolation mode that you can enable, and this will prevent conflicts with your theme or other plugins. Under the SEO section, we highly recommend that you use all-in-one SEO, the number one WordPress SEO plugin, and analytics, same thing with Monster Insights, fantastic plugin. If you need to paste anything into the header, body, or footer scripts, you can do that under the script section. And here you can actually use a custom domain if you want. Right now, our page looks like this. If you want, you can actually link this or map this URL to your own custom domain. So you can put your domain in here. And instead of going to the landing page URL, people could just visit your custom domain. There's a link here to the seed prod documentation to learn more. So now that we're happy with everything and everything's looking good, let's save this page, go ahead and publish it. And let's see the live page. And there you go, everything looks great. We can come back to the dashboard. And if we come under pages, all pages, you'll actually see this page is created and it'll have seed prod beside it. You can click back to edit with seed prod if you need to make any changes. As well, if you come under seed prod and pages, you'll now see that landing page down here with all of the information. So you could duplicate this, trash it, preview it. There's a subscriber section for people that sign up with emails and you can edit the page here. I hope this video helps you learn how to create a MailChimp landing page in WordPress using seed prod and our professionally designed templates. Now that you have a MailChimp landing page, you may wanna show people a thank you page after joining your newsletter. Check out this video on how to make a thank you page in WordPress. It'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to use SeedProd to create great looking thank you pages. This will allow you to show users a second page with additional offers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.